Hello everybody, this is uh, Itsu. Okay, I have completed now again uh, the circuit with the inner coil. I have the main coil with the uh, 8 times 100 nanofarad parallel and I have the inner coil 2 times 40 turns, meaning 8 zero turns and I have uh, insert there you can show <coughs> the 13 10 nanofarad cap so this is 131 nanofarad parallel to this uh, cap uh, this is uh, maximum resonance if I add more caps it lowers the voltage if I uh, delete some caps it also lowers the voltage so this is optimum voltage matching the main coil okay I have I will I feed this uh, resonance signal to a uh, full bridge rectifier made of uh, four times UF4007 diodes somewhere there and I have uh, behind this uh, full bridge rectifier so we have pulsed DC here about 200 volts I have added a uh, 40 microfarad cap to smooth out this and this signal I feed to uh, this uh, 60 watt bulb so we have DC into this uh, bulb I will monitor this DC signal with the yellow probe and I have here a 0 0.1 ohm 1% induction free hopefully resistor one remark is that this uh, filament is a spiral one so we have some inductance here uh, okay so I will be monitoring the voltage across the bulb and the current to uh, across this uh, CSR. At the same time I will uh, monitor the voltage from the both batteries and the current. So input and the output. Uh, this will be the signal. Uh, the blue trace will be the current, uh, sorry the voltage across the uh, current sensing resistor in millivolts. I have to translate that times 10 into milliamps uh, the yellow trace will show the voltage and the red trace is the math function channel 1 times channel 2 and we should read there the uh, the wattage which should be taken times 10 because of uh, the 0 0.1 ohm resistor Ok, let me connect the signal now, the voltage. Ok, so the bulb is fairly bright on. This is the input, so we have uh, 23.8 volts at 3.5 amps. Something like 80, 80 watts I guess. And this is the signal coming out, I will freeze it. And disconnect it to spare the batteries ok so we can see the yellow trace we have uh, 172 volts RMS I put it because there is some scribble on top of it and uh, the blue trace is the current I'm abased about this signal but uh, probably the filament of the bulb or the uh, motor start cap which is more for uh, 50 Hertz is giving some uh, some spikes but the average uh, millivolts RMS is something like 27 uh, so the current is uh, times 10 is uh, 275 uh, milliamps 
and the math function in red shows we have 3.9 volt volt should be taken times 10 is uh, almost is 39 watts almost 40 watts in uh, output into the bulb and if I calculate the uh, the input which was uh, 23.8 times 3.5 amps is something like uh, 83 watts input into the system so no surprises here I guess and I guess that uh, with this uh, DC what is it 170 volt DC and the uh, milliamps I can also run a uh, electric drill or some other appliances but it's a kind of inverter from 24 volts till 170 volts DC in this case and not very effective or efficient. Okay, I guess that concludes my application of this circuit. Thank you for watching. Okay, final test. I have removed the 60 watt bulb and I have connected my power drill 550 watts and I will uh, see if it can run it connect the battery give some voltage and so you can see it uh, is running somehow but uh, not at a uh, useful speed I guess so uh, nice but uh, not really useful okay thanks for watching